Red letter, last of the five. As the white flag is raised. The loaded. And off. In the Moidler stud stakes, five fillies over seven furlongs. And it is bedtime story who takes them along in these early stages from simmering on the outside in the white cap is exactly. These are followed by Red Letter and trailing the field with five and a half furlongs to go is Lake Victoria. It is bedtime story and Ryan Moore striding on by two lengths to Simmering and Dylan Brown McMonigal just showing up in second place from Red Letter and Colin Keane with the final couple, the stable companions, exactly Declan McDonough and Lake Victoria Wayne Norton. No changes in the order, continuing towards the halfway stage in the Group 1 Moidler Stud Stakes. It's bedtime story by a little more than a length to simmering matching strides with Red Letter for the second spot, followed by exactly and nudged along in last place with two and a half furlongs to go as Lake Victoria. In the lead, racing just outside the final two furlongs, bedtime story from simmering. On the outside is exactly, right in behind them is Red Letter, Lake Victoria brought to the outside, racing to the the final furlong, it's bedtime story flat out from exactly on the outside. In between Phillies is simmering red letter, runs on against the rail. On the outside is Lake Victoria, any one of the five in the mind there. And down the outside it is Lake Victoria who's claimed them all from simmering. Exactly on the far side was red letter, last was bedtime story as Lake Victoria stretches out her unbeaten record as three in the mind there for Wayne Lorden and Hayden O'Brien. So, a little bit of a surprise, it's Lake Victoria who preserves her 100% record, scores at 11-2. to 2. Wayne Lorden just denied in the St. Ledger at Doncaster yesterday, had to settle for second there in Illinois. But he lands this Group 1 prize for Aidan O'Brien and the Kilmore partners. Stable companion, bedtime story, a warm favourite in the end has finished last. Ruby Walsh enjoyed it with me, fascinating race to watch Ruby. All five of them had a chance entering the final furlong. How good a performance was that from Lake Victoria? Yeah, but you probably knew bedtime stories. Goose was cooked at that stage, even though she was still in the fray. But Lake Victoria has done well, Gary. It looked like they went a really good gallop. She was the one struggling early. Not struggling, but Wayne Lorden was niggling her a little bit, whereas bedtime story in the front then with Ryan Moore has raced with a choke out all the way and she's paid for it uh, red letter and the pink cap in behind was all dressed up waiting for a run like you see Colin Keane in the white sleeves pink cap is starting to nudge her along but she doesn't have clear daylight to run into just yet Simmering was keeping it close exactly he's outside her in the white cap Lake Victoria had to alter her stride there for a second as exactly kind of wobbled around a little bit but Lake Victoria's picked up best red letter eventually gets a run back to the inside on the inside of bedtime story but hard to say she was unlucky either Lake Victoria has gone and won she's made it three from three now a maiden win over Lake Victor over Red Letter the sweet scenario and now she's won the Moidler but I, I do think Gary when you go back to the beginning and watch this through the first three furlongs bedtime story was just tanking with Ray Moore and she's paid for that in the last furlong and a half it did look that way didn't it watching the race as well here we are inside the final quarter of a mile bedtime story coming under pressure at this stage Colin Keane in behind him Red Letter initially looked to switch to the left of bedtime story but then the gap opened up for him on the inner i think i'd agree with you watching it live i wondered whether red letters connections might feel things could have been a little different but she wasn't an unlucky loser no they probably will feel things could have, have been a bit different second, yes i think that's ultimately she has she finished off well as we see she yeah. has but she stayed where she was no I, that's <laughs> if you can see into the future and you can see the bedtime story is going to drift but uh no, I think she might have been second, but I think the best filly on the day has gone and won. That was Lake Victoria, but bedtime story just did everything back to front. It did look like that. Lake Victoria, who was sent over to Newmarket to land uh, Group 3 there, last on the Sweet Solera stake. Sean Levy rode her that day because she's beaten Red Letter on their respective introductions, as Ruby alluded to there a little bit earlier on in the season here on Irish Derby weekend. And what hot form that has turned out to be bedtime story it was her fifth run of the season it's difficult I mean she's been a beaten odds on favourite here and we're looking for reasons why she might have raced like that she has I suppose shown similar tendencies on occasion in the past but 
Do you think maybe this is just a sign she's had enough for the year? It probably is. She was really good in the Chesham, Gary. Um, not quite as good in the Silver Flash and then very workmanlike in the debutante. And maybe it was that hard race in the debutante. She was asked a question. She had to get a few backhanders to go and catch exactly. And maybe she's just remembering that this afternoon. But look, you can see from the drone when Red Letter on the right is shot, does get a run. She quickens and runs through. Doesn't quite get to simmering her exactly, but... I don't think she was going to get to Red Letter either way. And Red Letter, to be fair to her, had to switch around exactly. Even when Wayne Lorden was switching out, he got out three, four wide, but then exactly wobbled and he had to sit and go another lane out. So, you know, even though she's won, I don't think Lake Victoria got the smoothest passage through the rest either. No, I certainly agree with that. Red Letter might have been second with a little bit of a smoother passage through, but Lake Victoria has done everything right once again and is now three from three we've been talking a lot about the juvenile fillies this season about them looking a really good bunch do you still feel that way after watching that i, I think i do i think you have babouche fairy godmother obviously lake victoria's put her her hand up there um yeah you probably would like to she has won well lake victoria